guys, it's the Daily Divers here, back at it again with another episode of Dumpster Diving. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Dumpster Squad, and please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So guys, last night, sorry we didn't upload a video. The weather's been pretty bad at our house lately. It's been raining practically all day and then freezing overnight. But we did find some pretty amazing things for you guys. We found a ton of home decor items and also a little bin from $5 and Understore. So we got a ton of really neat things. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to start off with the stuff on the floor before I move along to the wall like I usually do. So first off, um, just a few items from the home decor store. One of them. Um, we found some dark chocolate peppermint mint creams. We found a total of four. Let's see. Is there an expiration? Okay, so I don't see one yet. I'll just have to look around, but um, these look like they were probably either from like their Christmas line or possibly even like Valentine Day stuff, who knows. But we found four of them and they're all the same flavors, I believe. Oh, no, besides this one. Oh, this one looks good. Peppermint cookie creams. Chocolate cookie and cream center surrounded in silky white confection and top of cracked peppermint. Yeah, so we found three of the peppermint mint creams and one of the cookie creams. Over here, we found a Lazy Susan. And luckily with this one, it does spin. It just has a big crack, but it's okay. I just like the fact that this one can spin compared to the other one. And it looks like it was $19.99 for it. And that is the brand right there. We also found this really nice one. Like you guys can see like the really nice detail of like, um, I forgot what these stones are called. Kind of like that gemstone type of thing, but it's a whole bunch of them. Like you could even feel like the different textures to them. And if I can get that, this was originally $29.99. And the only thing with it is that when you lift it, the handle is a little loose, but I looked under it. This is kind of heavy to lift up to show you guys. But it honestly looked like they either like used caulk or like um you know that um i think it's called like nail glue or something like that that one type of caulk glue so we're just gonna have to do that then over here we have like a little rotating like storage tier rack type of thing what is it uh vanity organizer and that was the price for it it's just missing the little top piece on top but you can't really tell so i'm definitely going to use this in my makeup room and then also a, another tray. This one has a crack. You guys can kind of see it. It's like a little hairline crack. Doesn't affect it at all, but you can see it a little bit better in the back. I think I'm just gonna take some super glue kind of to like line the um, crack so it doesn't kind of get any worse. And it was $9.99 for that. And then over here we found a cute little coffee mug. It's got a little chip right there, but I usually like to put the candles that we find in here. And let's see, is there a price tag? No, I don't see a price, oh, here we go, $3.99 for that. Then there's a little vanity organizer. That's what it looks like. It was $2.99, so you can put like your little jewelry on it or whatever you want on it. And there is nothing wrong with it. It's not cracked or looks like it's ever been used. And then this is really nice, but um, this is like another little like desktop organizer, but it's missing the glass there and there, but that's okay. I just got to rebend that back into shape and let's see the price. Looks like it was $14.99 for that. And then in this bin, I'm super excited about these. We found a pair of curtains, just grab it and nothing is wrong with them. They're not cut up or anything. These are super, super pretty. And I love like the color of it. It's like that kind of like minty blue and it's got some white scroll work detail in it. Just simple curtains, standard curtains, but we did find the pair to that. And luckily they didn't cut it up or trash it or anything. It just said um, customer return too short or something like that. Um, over here, just a little random thing um, from a clothing store we found a pair of like I guess these are probably knee-high boots yeah knee-high or thigh-high boots and it's just a little bit scuffed up right there but I know how to fix that pretty easily use that um what is it called leather studio oh I didn't realize that that one that one's actually kind of pretty bad looks like they tried to destroy it but just gave up 
but um, I'm going to use that Leather Studio paint stuff and see if I can fix it or at least help prevent the chipping any worse. And this is really nice. It's not even broken or anything. It's just like a glass, like decorational piece. Oh, there's Murphy. Um, super heavy. It's not chipped or cracked and it was $14.99. I guess it was probably just maybe a customer return or something. Um, it's got like, looks like glue just on it, probably from the dumpster or something. But this is super pretty. I don't know maybe if it's like a little paperweight or just like a little decorational piece, but you guys can see it's really, really nice. Definitely like this. And then also we just found a cute little dustpan, super cute. I actually needed a dustpan too. So it's got um, like a floral print to it and a yellow brush head. It was $4.99. And then also a candle, just a simple little candle. I always break the glass out before I bring it home and it still has the wick intact and it smells really good. Oh, Murphy, <laughs> it smells really good. Um, kind of like fresh linen, but it's kind of fruity at the same time. So definitely can't wait to use that. And in this bin, this is all from the $5 and under store. Um, we have a set of headphones, a couple pairs of earrings. Usually their earrings might be missing like a pair or um, one earring, but there's this kind of style and then this one. Here's a Hatchimal for plastic egg favors. So I guess like you put little candy in it, kind of like Easter egg probably. Here's one of these rollover sticks and luckily it's in the package. Oh, a ton of earrings. So here's some hoop earrings. Really pretty, I like the big ones. It's like a blackish metal with like a silver detail. Another set of earrings. Here is another one. It's missing the big hoop though. Some more. There's a ton of earrings in here. Hello, I'm a mermaid. That's cute. I like that quote. Another one. This one's just missing one set and a couple individual ones. And I think this might be the last set of earrings right here. Also have like a little noise maker. There is a phone case. A couple more phone cases right here. This looks like it's missing something. Oh, I have a phone case just like this. You put your cards into it so you don't have to bring your wallet. Um, a set of headphones. Oh, here's another phone case charger cord, set of sunglasses, it's missing the other piece that you sit on top of the nose. Um, what is this? AC adapters, a charger, and then the last thing is a set of earphones. And then also we found this bin from the $5 and under store. And moving along the wall, we found this really nice orchid plant. Um, it is missing the vase. The vase was all broken, but as you guys see, it's pretty intact. I'm going to look for a vase very similar to it, or I might just stick it in like a little basket similar to that size. But let me see if I can find a price for you guys. Um, no, unfortunately I can't, but I really like how it's got like this pebble detail and it's just sitting on styrofoam. So even if I can't find like a square looking one, I could probably like shape it down to fit into like a circular one. So that is that. The flowers are intact too. It's just that the vase was cracked. Then over here, we found this really nice like fairy um, outside piece. It says written off truck, broken legs. And as you guys see, her legs are broken right there, but um, she is intact. She has like a big piece of metal um, for her legs attached to her body. So um, she isn't going to fall apart, but I am still going to glue around it to make sure that nothing else will happen. Like you guys can see, I'm picking her up and she's not falling, but she's really pretty. I like that she's holding a little bird and her dress looks like, um, how would you say that? Like, uh, like leaves of some sort. Super pretty. And then we also found a 
little picture frame collage and it was $12.99, just missing a piece of glass. And then we also found two of these mirrored pictures. Um, the glass was all broken, but I easily just um, broke it apart before I bring it home because a lot of the pieces that we find like has like uh, picture frames or like glass in it. I usually break the glass before I bring it home just because we have the dogs, but they were $34.99. And then we also found a second one behind there. And last off, my most favorite thing that we found was this really, really nice chair and this little pillow. Um, as you guys saw, the pillow had a hole, but I did go and sew it up. And you honestly can't tell because where it happened to be ripped at was in the bottom of the pillow where you do have to have an outside seam. So I got that fixed. I just got to disinfect it, run it through the dryer a couple times, but it's super soft. It says home sweet home. And I absolutely love this chair. We found it from this store right here and it was $150. It says was sold as is, but before we took it out, we noticed there was a ton of the studs were missing. And then when we went to take it out, we noticed the uh, chair leg was also broken. And I know they wouldn't sell it with a uh, broken leg. So I'm guessing they were selling it with some missing studs. But let me show you guys real quick. So the leg was snapped off and it took us a while, but we did have to cut through here. I had to use um, a really, really thick thread to hold it in together because I had to stretch the fabric back into place, but this fabric was pretty difficult. But we did um, fix it completely fine. We had to put a ton of screws and nails in it and kind of like trim the wood down a little bit. But I did sew it back up and got this sewed back because I had to cut it right there. So all I have to do is just go pick up some studs very similar to this and line it up because you guys can see where the stud marks were before. I absolutely love this chair. Um, it took us a while to fix it, like I said, but you honestly can't tell from far away. You just gotta get the studs, like I said. But I'm definitely thinking about putting this into my um, makeup room as my normal chair now because my other one is starting to get a little beat up and old. But yeah, guys, we found a ton of amazing things. Um, even with the weather being really bad, we still found some incredible home decor items and uh, some stuff from the $5 and under store. But yeah, guys, this is going to conclude this night's episode. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Dumpster Squad. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and tune in tomorrow night for another episode.